Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to take a look at a new Unify Network application 9.0 and the first major update of 2025. This brings some major changes including zone-based firewall, cybersecure, and the new hub and spoke site-to-site -site VPNs with up to a thousand sites or 20 sites that could be meshed. Now let's jump right into Unify Network application 9.0. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the zone-based firewall. Now this is just gonna be a quick overview. I will be doing another full in-depth separate video on the zone-based firewall as there's a lot. So let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see. But you can see at this site, I've just called it Unify 9.0. We don't really have any firewall rules in here. We just have allowed default to all VLANs and all of these other firewall rules were just created by the system. This is a site that I'm currently testing right now, and we're just gonna allow all traffic, but we will end up doing blocking rules, and we'll do the zone-based firewall rules to this site. We had seen in the top middle, upgrade to the new zone-based firewall, simplify firewall management, and reduce complexity. So we're gonna click to upgrade. We see a pop-up, and it says, zone simplifies management by grouping network areas, allowing broader policies instead of numerous individual areas. This reduces complexity, enhances security, and eases traffic monitoring and management. And there is this link where we could learn more. We also have these three bullet points. It says all existing networks will be migrated to the internal zone. Certain existing firewall rules might be migrated to multiple policies. And then pre-migration backup will be automatically created and it can be restored. So we're gonna click on upgrade. Now we've pushed over to the zone-based firewall. You'd see what time it was upgraded on January 1st, 2025 at 1124 AM. And we could also go back to the previous configuration if we want by clicking here. Below that, we have our different zone names and then we have the networks and interfaces that are a part of those zones. Going down, we have the zone matrix. So it says click on any zone pair to filter the firewall rule policy below. Clicking on all policies will bring up all of the 67 that are a part of this network currently. If we just want to see our DMZ and then under hotspot, we could click on that and we could see it says blocked all traffic. I will be doing a deep dive into the zone based firewall in a separate video. Now, the next thing we have is upgrade cybersecure by proof point. And if you want to activate it, that's going to be done under our protection and you could see right up top. You'd also do this via the site manager at unify.ui.com but I'm gonna to click to activate it here because we are gonna want it on this site. Now this is what Cybersecure by Proofpoint gets you. Enhanced threat signature library for immediate defense against the latest vulnerabilities. And it's gonna be $139 a year, and that is Canadian. I think it's about $99 USD. But we detect and block advanced threats up to 55,000 signatures, we have 30 to 50 new signatures daily, dedicated Proofpoint threat research team, Microsoft Active Protection program coverage, and you could also click to learn more. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna activate it now. Okay, now up at the top, we can see that Cybersecure is currently activating. So we'll give that a bit of time to activate, but that's really nice. If we scroll down to the bottom, you could see right now that we only have a total signature of 27,000 and that should increase. Cybersecure is now active and we could view traffic flows. We have nothing blocked right now, so I'm not gonna show that, but if we go down to the bottom, you could see that our total new signatures are over 60,000. We also have our selected network. So I have default, Salto access control, and the camera network. I will end up putting all of our other networks on there. And we also have our detection mode. So there's notify, notify and block, which is standard. We're used to seeing that and mine's on notify and block. And then we have our active detections, which you could see all of the detections are turned on right now. We also have detection exclusions and then memory optimized. So memory optimized mode provides a curated list of active detection categories. Disabling this mode increases the amount of categories and memory usage. Now, one other thing that we'll touch on under the protection is the simple app blocking because it used to be in a different place. So if you wanna block something like TikTok or Instagram, this is where we do it. We create a new rule and then you just specify what you want to block or you want to allow. The next thing we're going to briefly touch on, I'll do another full separate video on this in the future, but this is with our site magic. So our site magic SD-WAN. In the middle, we could see effortlessly interconnect site with site magic SD-WAN, automatically set up encrypted and secure site-to-site -site VPNs between sites, select a deployment type to get started. The first one is hub and spoke, which we could have up to a thousand sites. So connect multiple branch sites to a centralized hub. And then we have our mesh, directly connect all sites together up to 20 sites. This is really nice to see if you had more than 20 sites, 
you were limited. And now we could go up to a thousand, which I think is awesome. Now, a couple other things with network application 9.0 is the ability to reorder our widgets. You'd see in the right hand corner, we have this arrow. If we just want to move these around, we could do that. All we need to do is click on it and then drag it in different orders. And then that will change our dashboard once we press apply. So that is a nice touch. And the last thing that we'll talk about is under our devices. So if I hover over the devices, we could see at the right hand side, we could either locate the device or we could restart. So that's just a nice quality of life. And that's going to be it for this video on Unify Network Application 9.0 and what a way to bring in 2025. There are so many great new features, including zone-based firewall, cybersecure, and the addition to have up to a thousand sites using Site Magic. Let me know what you think about Unify Network 9.0 in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.